Okay, in this video we're going to look at completely sketching a cubic from this form of its equation. So it hasn't been factorised, we need to do that part of it. So, what we need to first is a factor. Now, obviously, in general, this is actually quite difficult to do. Um, but in order to find a factor, it must be a factor of 6. So it could be um, 1, minus 1, 2, minus 2, uh, 3, minus 3, or 6 or minus 6, okay, that I'm plugging in. So let's start off with the easiest one, f of 1. So f of 1 is equal to 1 cubed plus 4 lots of 1 squared, take away 11 lots of 1, plus 6. And we get 1 plus 4 is 5, take away 11 is minus 6, plus 6 is 0. Excellent! Okay, so now that means therefore x minus 1 is a factor of f of x. Brilliant! Okay, we didn't need to go through lots of different trials. So x minus 1 is a factor of f of x. So now that we know that, we can use polynomial division. So we're going to have x cubed plus 4x squared minus 11x plus 6 divided by the x minus 1. Because what we want is the quadratic term. We have the linear term, we now want the quadratic term. x is not x cubed is x squared. x squared times those two terms will be x cubed, take away x squared, draw a line, you get 0, 4x squared, take away minus x squared is plus 5x squared, take away 11x, bring that down, x is into 5x squared, go 5x, multiply the 5x by those two terms, 5x squared minus 5x, 0, minus 11x, take away minus 5x is minus 6x, bring the 6 down, x is into minus 6x, go minus 6, minus 6 times these two terms, minus 6x, plus 6, 0, plus 0. Okay, so now we can say that therefore f of x is x minus 1 times x squared plus 5x minus 6. Okay, so the product of the x minus 1 plus this quadratic term. That quadratic can be factorised, so we're going to get um, minus 3, no sorry, what we're going to get, um, plus 6 minus 1, so actually we've got 2x minus 1's there, so we could write that as x minus 1 squared x plus 6. And then we must sketch this curve. So, we know that the quadrat the cubic sorry, crosses the x-axis at 1 and minus 6. So it crosses it at minus 6, but because 1 is a repeated root, that must mean that it just touches the x-axis at 1. We also know that it goes through 6 on the y-axis, and that it must be a um, positive cubic because the number in front of the x cubed is positive. So that means that it starts down the bottom left. So we start down the bottom left, we go through the minus 6, through the 6, it's a repeated root of 1, and then shoots off. Okay, so make sure that the turning point of the curve is to the left of the y-axis because it needs to go through 6 and then up at 1. Okay, and that is uh, completely sketched. So you could see this as an exam style question. Two marks for using the factor theorem. Two or three marks for, write, for using polynomial division and writing the function as a product of three linear terms, 
and then another two or three marks for sketching the curve.